Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was guessing the weight of his bushel of bananas, when suddenly, the garage bell rang. Who could it be? It's Mr. Coyote, the carnival barker. Step right up, Mr. Monkey, step right up. Hurry, 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 I need your help. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying, Mr. Coyote. What seems to be the problem? Cracks and scrapes, bents and dents, Mr. Monkey. My cars have got them all, and I don't know what's to be done about it. Uh, which cars? I don't see any. Why, my bumper cars. Sure, the kids are having fun, but any more bumps like these and it'll spell disaster. They'll go from bumper cars to broken cars. Hmm, let me take a look at them. Mr. Monkey checks one of the bumper cars. He checks the battery. It looks okay. Then he checks the steering wheel. It turns all right. He even checks the pedals. They go and stop just fine. So, Mr. Monkey, what's wrong with my bumper cars? Step right up and tell me. Don't be shy. Well, the bumper cars work just fine. The problem is... There's nothing on them to bump with. They're just crashing cars. Well, if this ain't just a dilly of a pickle, what can I do, Mr. Monkey? Mr. Monkey has an idea. Off to his workbench. Let's see. Mr. Coyote's bumper cars are supposed to bump and bounce, but instead, they crash and crack. What Mr. Coyote needs is something to cushion the outside of his bumper cars to soften the impact when they bump. Mr. Monkey has a plan. He just needs some soft, bouncy materials. If Mr. Monkey covers the outside of the bumper cars with something soft and bouncy, that would keep the bumper cars from breaking. He'll also need some rope to keep them from falling off the bumper cars. And of course, he'll need... his trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey gets to work. First, he uses his monkey wrench to get a spare tire down from the ceiling. He then finds a mattress, an inflatable pool tube, and a bunch of rope. Folks! Feast your eyes upon the greatest spectacle you've ever seen. A monkey repairs a batch of bashed and broken bumper cars. Yay! Mr. Monkey stretches the tire around the first bumper car. Next, he gets the pool tube around the second bumper car. Now that's a winning ring toss if I ever seen one. You get a prize. <laughs> Mr. Monkey then inflates the pool tube and ties it in place. Mr. Monkey folds the mattress in half and ties it together and puts it around the last bumper car, wrapping it nice and tight. And that's a wrap, folks. Mr. Monkey, the bumper cars are looking simply bumpy. Go ahead and give them a try. All right, kids, it's time for the thrill ride of a lifetime. Well, ain't that a how do you do, Mr. Monkey? You saved my bumper cars from breaking. I can't thank you enough, but I can upgrade your prize to the big cuddly monkey. All right, kids. Let's get these bumper cars back to the carnival. Another satisfied customer. And with that, it's time for Mr. Monkey to get back to guessing the weight of his bananas. 